Hello and welcome to Food for Thought. I'm Mark Lockridge and I'm the pastor of New Life Fellowship in Letterkenny and the Reformed Presbyterian Church in Milford. It's good to have you with us. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been looking at some of the seven sayings that come from Jesus Christ when he's on the cross. And we come today to the fourth cry. It's perhaps the most haunting cry ever to utter from human lips. In Matthew 27, verse 45 and 46, we read, From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? These are words of appalling woe, wretchedness and misery. Jesus is forsaken. The crowds have forsaken him. The disciples have forsaken him. But this is not what troubles him. Listen, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When God's people were in trouble, God did not forsake. They cowered under the brutal lashes of Pharaoh and his taskmasters in Egypt, but God didn't forsake them. When the three Hebrew young men were thrown into the fiery furnace in the book of Daniel, God didn't forsake them. But here at the cross, God did not come. He did forsake. And this is the first time recorded for us in the Gospels, amongst all of Jesus' prayers, that he doesn't address God as Father. Instead he says, my God. But why? Well, let me tell you a story. It's St. Stephen's Day. It's 1944, it's coming to the end of World War II and we're in the small Italian village of Soma Colonia. Lieutenant John Fox of the US Army is stationed in a tower in the village, the church tower, and is acting as an artillery spotter for the, the artillery guns down in the valley. Shortly after 4am he's wakened by the sound of gunfire and this 29-year-old lieutenant saw the streets below him are swarming with German troops determined to stop the Allied advance. The fighting is brutal, and the villagers are joined by a small group of American soldiers stationed in the village, and the men of the village fought until most of them are dead or, or wounded. And from high up in his observation post, John Fox had been calling in the artillery fire on the German troops, but now the tower is surrounded by the enemy. And so he makes one last call to his friend the gunnery sergeant, a man by the name of Otis Zachary. Put everything you've got on me. Put everything you've got on me. Zachary protests. I can't do that. Fire it, came Fox's response. And so high explosive shells rained down on the observation post. And when the dust cleared, Fox lay dead, surrounded by the bodies of more than a hundred enemy troops. And the German offensive ground to a halt. Fox had given his life so that others could live. Those words are incredible. Put everything you've got on me. They could have been the last words of Jesus. From his observation point in heaven, he sees the punishment that is stacking up against us for our sidelining of God and our defiance against God. The Bible calls all that sin. And it separates us from God. And Jesus knows that those sins have to be paid for. That punishment has to be poured out. And so he says to the judge of all the earth, put everything you've got on me. And that's why Jesus cries out on the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He's being treated as if he had committed the sins that would separate you and me from God forever. Put everything you've got on me. All the judgment. All the punishment. My God. My God. Why have you forsaken me? It's the cry of the damned. In those three hours of darkness, he was facing the consequences of sin. Consequences that would take you and me an eternity in hell to pay for. And it was put on him. You see, in this cry, we see that the suffering of Jesus is not the nails, the thorns, the cross, his suffering is at a much, much deeper and more profound level. It's the suffering of his soul. He is in deep spiritual agony, 
forsaken by the one who loved him the most and, and taking punishment from the judge of all the earth? My God, my God, Jesus cried out, why have you forsaken me? And it was so that we might never be forsaken. It was for you and it was for me. The message of Easter and the cross is not bunnies and eggs or try harder or be kinder. It's that Jesus Christ offers to stand before the judge of all the earth, to look the judge in the eye and to say, put everything you've got on me. I'll pay for everything they've done. And so what we need to do is to entrust ourselves to the one who offers to take our punishment, to take our place, asking him to save us and transform us. And wonderfully, if we do that, he looks at us and says, I will never leave you or forsake you. Thanks for listening. And if you have any comments or questions, you can always reach me at mark at newlifefellowship.ie. Bye for now. Have a great week.